Hello. Maybe you can tell that I come from England. England is the birthplace of the two subjects of today's lesson, football and the English language. And in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you two English expressions that we use in the sport of football. So the two expressions that we're going to learn today are to park the bus and to sell someone a dummy. The first expression then is to park the bus. And what that means, it's when a team takes a really defensive strategy, making it very, very difficult for the other team to score a goal. Now, it would probably make a little bit more sense if we said to park the bus in front of the goal. But what we normally say is park the bus. As you can see, it is very difficult for the red team to score because the yellow team have parked the bus. Here's a couple of example sentences with the expression park the bus. When Chelsea play against City, normally they try to score an early goal and then park the bus. Or here's another example. After Martin's red card, Fulham had a player less and were at a disadvantage. So they spent the second half with the bus parked, trying to defend their 2-0 lead. The next expression then is to sell someone a dummy. Maybe you already know the English word dummy. It has a few definitions and one of them means a like a model or replica of a person. So it's not a real person, it's fake, but it looks like a person. In football, a dummy is also something that's fake, but looks real. It's when a player pretends that they're going to pass the ball in order to trick their opponent and gain an advantage. So here we have three players. We have the blue player, Desai, and the two red players, Giggs and Cantona. Now, if the ball is coming in this direction towards Giggs, Desai will expect that Giggs is going to kick the ball. And Giggs pretends that he's going to kick it, that he's going to pass it. But instead, he leaves it and the ball comes to Cantona. In this situation, we can say Giggs sold Desai the dummy, allowing Cantona to receive the ball. Ha 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 ha. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you've learned something and now you can talk about football with a very colourful vocabulary. Yeah. So, apart from being a football fan, I am also an English teacher. I don't normally teach football related language. I do teach general English, business English for work related purposes and I prepare students for the IELTS, TOEFL or Cambridge exams. And if you're interested in lessons personalised to your needs online, please visit my website www.djk-english.com. You'll find a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.